I think the issue of um, people calling for 24-hour cover by consultants has been around for a long time. So it's not really about rising complications. I think um, what people are saying is that if a woman needs the help of an obstetrician, she should be able to get that 24 hours, seven days a week, 365 days a year. A bit like coming to accident and emergency. You'd expect to see a very senior doctor whatever time of day. I think the issue is that not all women need that sort of help. And what we would argue from the Royal College of Midwives point of view is that some women can very happily give birth in what we call midwifery-led services, um, either at home or in midwifery-led units. Some of those units are what we call standalone. They're not next door to a hospital. And some of them are alongside the hospital units. And what we know is that if a woman is what we call low risk, and all that means is she's had no problems, um, they can go and have their babies in those units with the help of midwives and um, the outcomes are usually extremely good. If they need further help, they can be transferred to hospitals. And in that case, what you do want is an obstetrician available to support the midwives. The issue that women must remember, I believe, is that for the vast majority of women, childbirth is a very safe experience and hope, hopefully also a very positive experience. The number of times things really go wrong and you do need very senior help is very rare. And in the majority of our units around the country, even if an obstetrician isn't at hand absolutely immediately, sort of outside the door, so to speak, they will be very close by and they will be able to get in to support women very quickly.